Welcome to Distractable, with your hosts, Mark, Bob, and Wade. This week is Bob's Fridge. Enjoy the show. <laughs> so we're excited about this new fridge. Yeah, yeah, good. So it was supposed to be delivered nine days ago, and I bought it like two weeks ago now. They took my money happily, and they were like, yeah, yeah, we'll give you a fridge. And I was like, okay, and left like an idiot. <laughs> Did you get to pick it out or did they just tell you they'd bring you one? Yeah, no, I told them which one I want and they were like, sure, silver one, got it. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> we'll send it right over. Yeah, yeah. So the initial delivery is scheduled. They show up and they assess the house. Our front door is real big, but there's a little door that goes in the kitchen that you can't bring the fridge through. So he like looks at the garage and finally he decides, okay, we got to drag this thing. We have a big back sliding door. We got to drag this thing around the side of the house through the side yard and then in the back door. That's the way it'll fit easiest. And so we have two side yards because I'm filthy rich mm -hmm. <laughs> not not a one side yard house we had two whole side <laughs> yards and they decide to go through the really narrow one which becomes an issue later which we'll get to and so they go through this whole thing that i don't know what appliances what happens to them but they're packed like if outside air touches them they will combust what? appliances are i don't know if you guys have ever seen a brand new appliance it comes in a full like plastic wrap like fully vinyl wrapped and then there's like foam padding on the corners and above that. And then there's another layer of like strapped on padding or cardboard. And then there's another layer of like a wrapping around that. And then there's a box around that. Once they decide they're going to bring it through the smaller side yard, the narrow side yard, I look at it and I'm like, I don't think that's going to fit guys. And he looks at it and he measures it and he's like, no, no, it'll fit. And I'm standing there and I'm like, I really don't think that's going to fit. But like, this is their job. It's fine. Just do what you're going to do. Which again, like an idiot, I assume that they would know how to do their job and so they start dragging it they bring it up the driveway they start trying to get it through the gate there's like a gate that swings open and the gate is swung all the way open up against the gas meter the <laughs> gas meter is behind the gate and you hope like ideally they'd like slide it right through it fits and and they keep going right mm -hmm. they get it up and it does that thing where they try to move it through and it just goes Bonk. And it's like, oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. And like the delicate parts are all still wrapped. So it's still like padded, but I just see like, it's not quite going to fit. Like it's like an inch too big. Yeah. And the guys are there and they're like, no, it's going to fit. And it's, and it, it goes from the, <laughs> the soft dunk to like, they're finagling it. The way it goes through the gate, the fucking, the back of the fridge is scraped up the whole gate. Each little step they're taking, the fridge on the fence is just like, <sighs> <laughs> and I'm standing here watching just like, ah, ah, okay. And like it finally, it gets through and I look at it. There's no damage. Everything's fine. It was just sort of rubbing on the gate. I think it was fine, but I'm, so this is how it starts and they get it through. They get all the way to the backyard before they're about to bring it inside the house. And I look at the front of it and there's a huge dent. Oh. It's not huge. Okay. Maybe it's a two inch ish around dent, but I look at it and I'm like, that's a dent. And the guy does that thing where he looks and he's like, it's not a dent these things are padded it's fine and i like touch it and i'm like no dude that's a dent it's clearly a dent and he like licks his thumb and rubs it and like <laughs> no, that'll, like that'll buff out <sighs> oh perfect yeah what a, what a method and so and finally i convinced the dude i'm like it's a dent and he's like well do you want us to install it or not i'm like no i don't want a brand new refrigerator i just paid a shit ton of money for to have a dent on it like i want a new one out of the box i paid a lot of money for this fucking thing and like he he does that thing that like and i've totally been there i've i've worked jobs like this he does that gives me that look when i'm like no i don't take it back like i don't want to fix this he's like okay we could fix it <laughs> in a more respectful tone he says whatever he says but his eyes are saying that you know he looks right at yeah, me yeah. and i his head flops over and he's just like yeah yeah Fine, we'll put it back on the truck. <laughs> Thanks. And man, did they not give a fuck about that fridge once it was damaged. So <laughs> how it barely fit through the gate the first time. On the way out, they were just like, gosh, like, get it out. Fuck, get out of here. Like, man, I thought they damaged my gate. Like, Jesus. And they got it out of there and they were just like, we'll take it back and they'll call you. 
and they drove off in a huff. Yeah. And I thought that was that. Now, let me say, this is going to be the end of Act 1. <laughs> These guys did a great job compared to the second group of delivery people. Like, I miss them. Oh, no. I wish they would have oh, been no. the guys who delivered the fridge today. Because, of course, this happened this morning. Because, of course, it did. <laughs> I long for their great handling of everything <laughs> that occurred. <laughs> but, yeah. So, they're gone. And you think, like, okay, that exchange is over, right? So Manny and I wake up the next morning. The house was like completely unheated. Nothing at all. That's weird. I look at the thermostat. The thermostat says it's on. Went to like take a shower, use the sinks. No hot water at all. Hmm. And we're just like, what the fuck? That's so weird. None of the natural gas things in our house were working. Somehow our gas line had been damaged. And of course, right away, Mandy was like, well, those delivery guys were here yesterday. Did they do something? Look at like the gate area. Like those guys had to have done something. And I went and I looked and like, it's not, it's not obviously damaged. And I smell, there's no like gas leaking or whatever. It doesn't seem bad, but clearly it's not working. Mm -hmm. Apparently in California on a lot of gas meters as a safety precaution, they put something on there that's called an earthquake detector. And if it detects a rumble, if it detects a shaking it shuts off the gas to the entire house. Oh. And I guess it's sensitive enough that two guys slamming a heavy wooden <laughs> gate into it and a couple hundred pound fridge into it was enough that it was like, nope, no more gas, shutting that down. They delivered a fridge so violently your house thought it was an earthquake? Yes. All right, cool, just wanted clarity. <sighs> And this was the good team. Yeah, they did a great job. I love those guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just check it off my notes uh -huh. here. Got yeah. it. Right. So, okay. And so finally we get that resolved after like a day of me, I had like called an HVAC company and was like, I need, you guys got to fix this. And they were like, okay, we can have a guy there in a week. And I was like, what? what? I just told you we don't have natural gas. It's like 50 degrees outside. Like, can you get a hurry up a little? Does anyone, you know, volunteer to give me a spot in line or something? And she's like, no, nah, no, nah, we'll see you in a week. And I like, that was the best solution I had until we figured out the whole thing. <laughs> oh. <clears throat>